I find it hard to believe that that somebody would just go out of the way and basically, of course, turn themselves in for killing four people at in a New Year's Day crash. And apparently, this is what this guy did. His name is Alex Garcia, and well, what you're about to hear is kind of shocking. A 16-year-old boy turning himself in. Police say he caused a New Year's Day crash that killed four young people. Detectives say that teen driver was going 111 miles an hour just moments before impact. Let's get right to local news reporter Ian Marble live with our top story. Ian. Such a horrible crash on New Year's Day, the horrible way to start the new year. That 16-year-old turning himself in here just a few hours ago, Florida Highway Patrol telling us he doesn't even have a license, only a learner's permit. And one second before that crash, the data recorder in the car says he was going 111 miles an hour. How the fuck do you have to not have a license to go 11 miles per hour or 1100 miles per hour how the fuck do you have no license possibly a permit a learner's permit and you drive there to kill four people how 16 year old Alex Garcia turning himself in Monday facing serious charges after allegedly causing a quadruple fatal crash on New Year's Day. His attorney, Brian Curlew, spoke with us briefly after he turned himself in. We're entering a plea of not guilty. We have absolutely zero facts, zero evidence. So our position is he is not guilty. The case de- If he's not guilty, then why did he turn himself in? That's the whole thing I don't get. That's the whole thing I don't get. Why? Why is he going to be not guilty when he turns himself in? Dates back about three months ago, only hours into the new year. FHP investigators say Garcia was doing 111 miles per hour one second before plowing the Chevy Tahoe he was driving into a Hyundai Elantra filled with four people. 21-year-old Julia Gelat Barzaga, her boyfriend, 22-year-old Christian Mobile, and their friends, 21-year-olds Andres Zacharias and Jender Salazar. She was unable to make it across the intersection because the defendant was driving at such a high rate of speed and failed to slow down as required by flashing yellow lights. All four of the people in the Elantra were killed instantly, while Garcia and the two other 16-year-olds in the Tahoe were taken to the hospital but survived. Detectives say Barzaga, who was the designated driver for her friends that night, tested negative for any alcohol or drugs, while Garcia tested positive for weed and alcohol. Wow. You have a driver's permit, and you use that advantage because of your of your antics to be an irresponsible asshole to go out of your way and try to kill four people on New Year's Day. Really? Two people doing the exact opposite things met this way. It's a tragedy. That could have 100% been avoidable. So the four people who were in the Elantra who died on impact, apparently that car was making a legal left turn when the Tahoe Garcia was allegedly driving, went straight through that intersection. The impact was so violent from the space where it actually happened to where they finally came to rest was the distance of about a, of about a football field. We're live in West Miami. Let's go back to the lawyer for a second because Alex Garcia's lawyer says that he's not guilty even though he turned himself in for a reason. Alex Garcia 
acknowledges what he did was wrong, and his lawyer looks like he's trying to cover it up for him so that he doesn't, you know, take his own punishment for his own crimes. And I believe that would be a crime. I mean, seriously, if you were you were this stupid to be filled with weed, uh, alcohol, and you you drive your car without a license but a permit. To go out of your way and kill at least four people. Why? Just why? Why would you defend somebody that would go out of their way to kill at least four people when he was high as fuck? Why? Just why? Are you insane? Are you insane? Like this is a, this is just not this is just not good behavior. I mean, sure that kid is sixteen, but it morally doesn't give him the right to. Be stupid. It morally shouldn't give him the right to be stupid. If you go your way to be very, very, very stupid, then you're asking for trouble. You are asking for a huge load of trouble, and. I just don't want to believe that he would be pleading not guilty because he clearly is, and since he turned himself in for a reason, I'm sure he wanted that punishment. I'm sure. I mean, just look at his face right here. Just look. Does that not look like the face of a guilty person? Because to me, it does. It really does look like a guilty person, and Alex Garcia should be serving his time in prison. He should not be let free just because he's like what a junior or a senior. I mean, come on. He nearly was like. Driving into four people that are mentioned in this story. How can this person not be in jail? I do hope that they don't enter a plea of not guilty. I really do, because Alex Garcia wanted to do the right thing by turning himself in, and he did it. I mean, that took courage, in my in my opinion, for somebody who did an irresponsible thing to turn himself in. Not every criminal can do that, but for Alex Garcia, I'll give him a point for that. I'll give him a point for for turning himself in, but. I will have to deduct a point for him because his lawyer thinks he's not guilty, even though evidence clearly shows that he is, because he's the one that did it. And I don't think it wasn't alleged. I think he actually meant to do that, and he was actually really extremely guilty of his crimes. Just because you're a high school student doesn't mean that. You're gonna be a goody two shoes, thinking that you're gonna get away with stuff. That's just my take on this. Really, he is guilty. We all know that.